Dear friends, I have published my fourth book. And this book is about Antwerp, my favorite city where I was rescued from my depression, where I met a lot of nice people, where I had a great experience, cultural experience. And um, where I had a very important insights. And some of them I described on my book. And um, well, I will. I would like to show you the cover. And uh, this book consists of two parts. Uh, first, uh, first part is uh, uh, my impressions. A uh, second part um, is uh, interviews with the uh, prominent Antwerp people. This book um, has been published uh, in two languages, Dutch and English. So my impressions in Dutch and interviews in English. And uh, I think that this book is very useful and important for uh, Western and Eastern Europeans, uh, both. Uh, because for Western people it should be interesting uh, because of my point of view of a uh, Russian guy, a Russian uh, political refugee who moved uh, from uh, Russia to Estonia and um, who was living in Antwerp for half a year and um, maybe it uh, would be interesting to know, to see a special, um, maybe another point of view on Antwerp and um, I wrote about different parts of Antwerp life, like um, gay pride, or restaurants, uh, the cathedral, the street club, uh, neo-fascist Kremlin propaganda, uh, museums, like uh, mass museum and my favorite exhibition about life and death um, churches like Carolus Barameos the prostitutes uh, literature Flemish literature I I read in uh, English and I really inspired and enjoyed it So, and the uh, uh, second part is um, are interviews with the prominent Antwerp people and it should be interesting for uh, Eastern Europeans and for migrants who come to Belgium, to Antwerp and um, try to start their new life. So it's about uh, Western values, it's about freedom, it's about um, freedom of speech, freedom of expression, freedom of behavior, of course, and about uh, free thinking, about critical mind, so, and uh, about human rights, and uh, about um, civilized slavery, modern forms of slavery. And um, so I talked with uh, different people like uh, writers, uh, musicians, singers, poets, 
human rights activists, comedians, politicians. So it's uh, to read this interview. Uh, to read these interviews uh, is important for the process of integration to the Western society. Um, for I, I I know that for for the most of uh, Eastern Europeans, it's strange. Uh, when uh, people who take uh, money from the state budget allow themselves to criticize the state, uh, to criticize the authorities. But in fact it's uh, possible and uh, it's important. Um, we even criticize the hands that feed us. This is the title of, of one of the interviews. And um, you can uh, read some uh, interesting uh, stories about interesting people. Um, some uh, myst mystic stories and um, in my point of view it's a valuable reading and uh, it's an intellectual book it's, uh, for people who like to think and uh, to have uh, more experience in this book you can find uh, some uh, pictures with uh, uh, people who I met with uh, and uh, uh, this is uh, a very very nice people I like them very much So, please find my book Grün Waterman, uh, Wall Street 7, and you can read this book in internet as well as ebook. And hope to see you on my presentation in Antwerp soon. I was invited to Antwerp by Penn Flanders. It's a writer's organization and I was a pen flat guest uh, for several months. I, I was so happy to be there and uh, uh, met with uh, a lot of nice people and talented writers and with a big heart. This book was translated by Martin Tankbergen and uh, the editor is um, Jonathan Ruano de la Haza, my, uh, my Canadian editor, and I would like to say thank you for Pen Flanders, for my translator and my editor, for great, great help to make it possible to see this book and uh, to keep this book, to have this book. Wish you all the best. Bye.